Chugging on the main stage with the mainframe. Loosen up your face, baby. Sometimes I need a vacay. Meditate, hydrate, protect my energy huh. before engagement. Grew up having nothing, you're labeled impatient. Huh. But once the boss made it, you're labeled amazing. Meticulous with words, such a force of nature. Boss. I don't want to seem absurd, but that boy's a gangster. Fo focusing on me, way from Tel Aviv. Barbados with the hustle pockets, LRDs. Distinctive destinations, all I want to see. Buffalo Bills Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. It's week eight of the NFL on EA Sports. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Take over first and 10. Out come the New England Patriots, led by their six foot five veteran quarterback, Cam Newton. And what I loved about meeting with him before the game was talking to a guy who takes ownership of his performance. Two touchdowns, two interceptions last week, but all he focused on was the loss, okay? And he did say, if I change my stats a little bit, not necessarily for me to look better, but that'll help my team. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. So a we'll look here at the key inactives, and we got this list before the game down on the field. And they tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys on the roster who are capable of filling in and playing at a high level. That's when you know you've drafted well, scouted free agents well, and stocked your team just the way you're supposed to. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. From the gun, here's Newton. And he'll drop it underneath to White. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that bring up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure didn't give up much run after catch. Well, the Bills make their way out, led by their third-year quarterback from Wyoming. At 24 years of age, it's Josh Allen. Well, what do we ask about players in this league? We ask them to improve from year to year, and Josh Allen did exactly that from his rookie year to year number two. Doubled his touchdown passes from 10 to 20. One of the better running quarterbacks in the league had nine touchdown runs. That gives him 17 in his first two seasons. This guy gets better and better and absolutely loves the game of football. From the 25 on second down, Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. The numbers for him from a week ago. Seven catches, 63 yards. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. When you turn in good, consistent performances each and every week, you will rank in the top 10 in the league in receiving yards. And he's number seven currently, hoping to move up as time goes on. So they say no to the penalty. The incompletion stands. It'll be second and 10. And what they want to do is go ahead and take those downs away from them. You never want to give extra snaps to any offense. That's how you get hurt. Allen's throw is complete. Allen's pass. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. So mark off the yardage for roughing the passer. And I've seen this before. On a screen pass, not only are you rushing the passer, you're rushing him deeper than normal. And I think a little frustration kicks in at the end. You're going to hit him anyway when you shouldn't. Uh, here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. And again, it's Allen. 
shuffle pass here is complete. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 47. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. From the gun, it's Allen. Flushed out right. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. Well, that's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play. Looking into the rain drops and he muffs it. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin him back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? They'll run for the first time with Sony Michelle. And he's upended at the six as they double their room to maneuver on a pickup of three. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Brings up second and seven. A shotgun snap for Newton. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Out of the gun, Newton. That's complete into the hands of Myers. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost start in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath. Looking into the raindrops, and he muffs it. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it, he loses it, somehow ball finds its way back to him. A tone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brings up second and nine. At the 30. No score after one on EA Sports. the first quarter with no score. 38-yard line, second and nine. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen, eluding the pressure right. Finding Knox there, complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That's good. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. One of the first big plays we've seen in this football game. And could that be the play that gets this game jump-started? It's taken a while as both teams have tried to settle in. Maybe now the pace will accelerate. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Operating from the gun. Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he gets it down to the 32. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. And 10. From the gun, Allen flush to his right. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark it down at the 9. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. They talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. First trip to the red zone for the Bills. They're looking at a first and goal from about the nine. And the Bills are going to be set up with a first and goal as good running gets them down to about the four-yard line. Second and goal from inside the five. Five brings up second and sliding out of the pocket. And that's going to be caught. Oh, one-handed grab there. He's got it for the touchdown. Touchdown. I thought that was a nice job there, feeling the pressure and rolling out away from it and keeping the play alive. And I think he did it with the idea that his tight end would find his way free in the end zone and his confidence was rewarded. Point after try, forthcoming. And it's 7-0 Buffalo. A drive that time of six plays. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. The kickoff 
Mark Unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Their own 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic. Meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. And the Patriot first down. First down, here's White. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. The tackle made at the 44-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Sonny Michelle comes out of a long line of terrific running backs from the University of Georgia and was a first-round selection for New England in 2018. He does not mind carrying the football, never turns down an opportunity. Top 10 in rushing attempts in the league in 2019. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. First down. On first down, Newton. And that one complete to Keene, the tight end. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Three yards the gain there, second down. At the 22-yard line. And this one incomplete. Newton's Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. And seven. To the air again, Newton. Out to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Operating from the gun, Newton. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Jacoby Myers, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am going ahead and tapping out the first half. There's still time. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, where they want to let their return guy touch it. A good hold of these wet conditions. The point after is up and good, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Here's the all-pro returner from 2018, Andre Roberts. And he's going to have the first down as they move into field goal range here at the 25-yard line. Buffalo set to get the football back here. And we're under a minute to go here in what's been an even first half all tied up. Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, just string them together. Could get into field goal range. Let's see what happens. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Working with a second and four. From the gun, Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. Stephon Diggs. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Seven yards there at a first down. A yeah, quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. A gain of six there on first. Their timeouts. As they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Allen now on first down. He'll buy some time right. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. 17 more yards. That's another Bills. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. 
The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will take a 3-0 lead. So we will not go into the lockers tied. We do have a leader in the clubhouse, so to speak. Man, it's only three points. Doesn't seem like much. But it looms big the way that they got it done right before the half ended. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Hi again, everybody. Let's get you caught up with what's going on around the league here in the unofficial midway point, week eight of the NFL season. We'll get started out at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, and it's the Chiefs who have the lead in that one. Patrick Mahomes has thrown a touchdown pass. Well, why don't we hold off on the halftime update after all? Seems like everyone's ready to go here for the second half in week eight in the NFL. From there, we're out to check out another game. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. So here are the Bills to take over. They're on a three-game winning streak and right now looking good in this one as well. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Something we haven't really seen much of from him, an incomplete pass. Yeah, last week he finished at 70%. This week he's up over 80%. I don't know how you slow him down. Pass rush is usually the best way because a quarterback on his back usually can't complete a pass. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. Oh, a scrap for the football. And he's going to come down with it. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 38-yard line. That was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. So the ball moves from 138 to the other as they come up on first and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Throwing on second down. Allen. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise. Because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. Singletary, they'll run for it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. What I enjoyed most about watching Devin Singletary as a rookie, and he had a nice campaign, 775 yards on the ground and a rushing average in the top five in the league last year, is that what I saw in college transferred to the NFL. Continued to make the first tackler miss, whether he's in the hole or on the perimeter. I expect him to get to a thousand yards rushing this season. A good action to this point in the third quarter, just a three point game, second and ten. Jonathan Jones that time, the one who got a hand in, knocked it away. So back to back incompletions. Third down here in ten, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. 
maybe not so cool with the yardage lost there. Huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. And it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. And I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on. on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though. Three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. On the return, the Patriots take over first and ten. At their own the Pats at the line, ready to go. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned. Because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the 31-yard line. A play fake to Michelle, now Newton. That'll be taken in by Demir Bird. The 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Demir Bird, his second touchdown on the season. And the Patriots are an extra point away from going out in front. For the extra point. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both the counts. All right, because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, 14. that should have been done in Big Sky Country. Aren't any speed limits out? <laughs> There, and off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Takes this about five yards deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here comes Josh Allen and the Bills offense back onto the field. And
in the passing game, I mean, look at the numbers. It's fallen off. When a team is struggling, sometimes you look at the quarterback. When the quarterback starts to struggle, who goes over and picks him up? Yeah, that's always a big one, isn't it? Usually, there's a quarterback whisperer somewhere. And what I mean by that is, whether it's an assistant coach, 